Toyota's new super sports car concept. Love at first sight. Canada's oldest car salesman. But Richard is no ordinary Audi specialist. He's the ultimate Audi specialist. A Camaro that pays tribute to North America's freedom fighters. There you go, automotive bad. SST is brought to you by Stark Auto Sales, home of the ultimate worldwide scratch and dent car sale. Friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to another edition of SST. We have a lot of really cool stuff lined up for you today. We're going to show you a Camaro that pays tribute to servicemen and women who are still overseas. And we will also show you the new Porsche 918 Spider Supercar. This thing is a hybrid and it flies. But first, here's a look at the Toyota FT1 concept car. What is the FT1, a concept vehicle? The FT1 is a concept vehicle. Um, it's our spiritual pace car for, for what's to come in Toyota brand. What direction are you going in? Well, the direction is, is it's more philosophical in a sense. Um, what we're trying to do is tug at people's heartstrings uh, with our products. I think we make some great functional products. And I think with, uh, with Akio's kind of directives in Wakudoki, he wants to see wow. He wants to see people fall in love with cars. And you know, what better way to do that by showing a, a sports car first? And that's kind of a great illustration of where we're gonna head in terms of emotion. And you, you're doing that here with, I guess, the shapes and the lines and the angles and the big spoiler on the back because, I mean, that, that just says performance. Obviously, this is a sports car, so we selected a, you know, front engine, rear drive, kind of cabin rearward type of design. But, you know, all the other products have different emotions as well, and we have to study that on every particular product that we sell, and how do we inject that into those products. Are there design cues here that you'll see in all the different Toyota products? I think the, the essence of it, the, the feeling of it, will apply down the line into our future products. Is this car drivable? It looks like it's fully functioned. Yeah, I mean, that was the intention. The car, this car we, we call a driver. It is drivable, but it's not you know, meant to be tested. Being authentic, the car has to look like it drives, it looks like it performs, you know, it looks like it, it really handles. And those same emotions can still come into play in something as practical and utilitarian as, as a minivan, right? Perhaps, you know, I think every product has its own particular emotions that the buyers really seek out of. You know, like for, ex for example, you know, our Prius project products really need, I think people want really high MPG. So, you know, they get excited about filling up their gas tanks and it's, you know, $30 and then it'll last, you know, 400, 500 miles per tank. But, you know, with cars like sports cars, you got to be able to see it and react to it right away, almost like uh, love at first sight. Um, you know, obviously we have crossovers, we have sedans, they all need um, a different type of emotion and that's what we're going to be studying in the future. So this is not a car that in itself we're likely to see on the road, but bits and pieces of it, not only the, the look and the style, but the technology as well. There are all things to come in the years ahead with Toyota. It's a philosophy, you know, FT1 is a concept at this point, and um, it's to portray an image of a future Toyota to come. All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time to, to join us on the program. Thank you. Now a look at a Mustang that came before all the other Mustangs. This is the Mustang Concept One that we found in the Motor City, Detroit.
you'd like to see more of that Mustang concept car, you can find it at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. And now an interview with a guy who was around when that concept car was built and when the Mustang came out. Now, he's not a Ford guy, he's an Audi guy, but he's one of the top salespeople for Audi in all of Canada. His name is Richard Cross. He's 81 years old. He has 800 clients and sells well over 100 cars every year. We went to Ottawa to find out how he does it and how he keeps on going. Richard is no ordinary Audi specialist. He's the ultimate Audi specialist, perhaps the ultimate car salesman, because Richard, you've been in this business for a long time and you are now, uh, I don't know if I should tell people how old you are, but maybe you want to share it with the viewers. 80, 81. 81 years old, still going strong. And I don't know, you, you must be one of the, the top selling Audi specialists in the Ottawa Gatineau area. I, I managed to do my share. Yes, yeah. I think we're, we're doing quite well. Thank you. I, I think Richard has uh, somewhere in excess of 100 clients that he services every single year. People who come to him specifically to buy... It's more like 800. 800. 800, <laughs> 800 a year. Um, well, I don't 800 a year. I have about 800 clients. clients. I don't all buy a new car every year. But about 100 of them do. That's correct. Somewhere in that range. And yeah. and to do that, I mean, you really need to know a lot about these products. And when people come to a show like this, it's an opportunity to speak to somebody like you to learn more about what the Audi brand is really all about. And I guess that really is about lifestyle, right? That's correct, yes. Yeah. People come here because they can see all the cars in one place. And if they come here and chat with you, they might learn something. They might, they might not come to our dealership just offhand, but when they come in here, they have an opportunity to see us here. We can talk to them in a relaxed atmosphere, which is uh, some people feel intimidated when they come into a dealership. They don't feel that way when they meet us at the car show. And that probably is why you're so successful, because it isn't about high pressure sales. It's about trying to match a person with the right vehicle. Trying to help people make the right decision. That's what it's all about, Joe. So what kind of features kind of make a difference for, for a consumer? I guess they need the right number of doors, if they need to, you know the right uh, level of fuel efficiency, they, they need to know whether they're using it to go get groceries, or if they need something with more off-road capabilities or something that handles better in the snow. I think that's important when, when you talk to somebody. There was a reason that we were given two ears and one mouth, is you ask questions, find out what they're looking for, find out what they're presently driving, and then, then you know what they're looking for and make sure that they, they're buying the car that suits them. I think it's fair to say, though, that regardless of the vehicle you buy, if you're buying an Audi, you're, you're, you're getting a level of prestige and exclusivity that comes with that, that brand. That's correct. It, Audi is a prestige car, and, and I call it understated elegance. Audi's been in business for over 100 years, and they're part of a huge conglomerate that uh, has a lot of exceptional engineering. And I'm sure that there will be more to come. I think that they've uh, they've already been talking about next year. So this is definitely a show that's uh, back and is probably going to be around for some time to come. We'll be here, and we're one of the only manufacturers that's been here every year since its inception. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll show you a Camaro that pays tribute to our military servicemen and women overseas. I'm Zoe, also known as Poison Ivy. Don't go away. There's more SST ahead. Looking for a pre-owned vehicle? You have to check out Fusion Auto Sales in Tilbury. Nobody beats our prices and selection on late model luxury. Smart shoppers know now is the time to buy a sports car. We have a huge selection of vans, crossovers, and SUVs, including imports. The competition has no idea how we do it. Fusion Auto Sales. You're gonna like the way we do. 37 Mill Street. Military history comes to life August 16th and 17th at the 2014 edition of the Southern Ontario Military Muster. See World War I and World War II reenactments. Vintage military vehicles including tanks, jeeps, half-tracks and personnel carriers in motion. It's exciting and entertaining family fun. The biggest event of its kind in Canada. The Southern Ontario Military Muster. August 16th and 17th at the Essex Centre in the town of Essex, Ontario. 
Steve Pluckett presents the Fleetwood Country Cruise in June 7th and 8th. See over 3,000 vintage vehicles with a special 50th anniversary salute to the Ford Mustang. Meet celebrities like Batmobile designer George Barris, Bo Hopkins, Candy Clark, Gene Winfield, Courtney Hanson, and Linda Vaughn. 110 acres of classics, customs, hot rods, and specialty vehicles. 9282 El Viage Drive, London. An automotive extravaganza like no other. Visit FleetwoodCountryCruising.com. New spring styles are arriving daily at Gold Coast Fashions in downtown Chatham and Wallaceburg. Gold Coast features quality clothing from Canadian manufacturers. Look good, feel great, for less, in this spring's freshest colors. Business, casual, formal, and wedding fashions. Visit goldcoastfashions.com and see what's new today. Shop Canadian, shop local, shop tax-free. London Kia is celebrating Kia's 15th anniversary in Canada with throwback pricing. Payments like they were 15 years ago for the first 15 months on new 2014 models. Great cars like our luxury compact sedan Forte, our family-friendly crossover Rondo, and the award-winning crossover SUV Sorento. Throwback pricing at London Kia, the Kia Superstore. 764 Warncliffe Road South or visit LondonKia.com. Oil change is just $15.99 at Lube Plus Windsor, where the plus gets you more. More service, including oil changes, transmission flushes, even brake service. More choice, pick from leading brands of oil. More value, get every seventh oil change free. Stop by our new state-of-the-art lube center for our New Year's Lube Express $15.99 oil change special. This is a limited-time offer. Lube Plus Windsor, where the plus gets you more. 2955 County Road 42, directly across from the Windsor Airport. Hey friends, welcome back to SST. Off we go to Las Vegas, Nevada to the SEMA Auto Show. That's where we found a Camaro that pays tribute to our military servicemen and women, especially U.S. servicemen and women. This is a Camaro owned by a man by the name of Kelly Fromm, and it has an incredible custom paint job. Check this thing out. I love your 2012 Camaro here. Uh, you have it completely uh, airbrushed from wheel to top. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's a, a way to pay tribute to the, all those that served in the military, whether American forces or Canadian forces. It honors all that serve past, present, and future. So how come you went with this theme? As a retired veteran myself, it's just a way to pay it forward to honor all those that served. And I noticed on the front hood you have a picture of a soldier without a face. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. That represents the battle cross, and that's how we honor troops that are fallen in combat. And um, the faceless soldiers, it's just every day some soldiers getting killed in action. And it's just a way to, so not to pay tribute to one person, but pay tribute to all of them. That's beautiful. Obviously, it's a beautiful car. Performance-wise, what's under the hood? Well, it's the factory supercharged, but it's a stage three build by Livernois Motorsports. So it's we took it from 580 horsepower to 850 horsepower. So um, it'll run a quarter mile on 10.2 as it sits. That's pretty fast. And how long did it take you from start to finish to do all these modifications? From stock to where you see it right now, it took one year. Uh, most of the work was the wide body conversion. I don't know if you can tell the car's actually been widened uh, about eight inches in the rear. Uh, that's to allow for the oversized wheels. Uh, um, but it took about a year to complete. What do you use it for? Uh, I drag race the car and auto eggs the car. Has it ever won? It's run numerous Super Chevy events uh, for its class. Uh, and uh, hopefully we're getting invited to the Optima Challenge here at the race. And we're going to really show people what we could do with the car. And what are people's uh, general reactions when they see this car? Well, at first they think it's a wrap. Um, <laughs> but once you go past the wrap and notice the airbrush, they, they, get the, they get the message. All the bling, all the flashes to get the younger guys to look at the car. They look at the car, they get the message to on the fall. Now, if you can uh, pick one word to describe describe the style and the feel of this car, what would you go with? It's going to have to be two words, automotive bad. There you go, automotive bad Surrey. And now the moment that I've been waiting for since the beginning of this program, we're going to take you to the racetrack now for a ride in the all-new 918 Porsche Spider. This thing is a hybrid. 
it's definitely in supercar territory. Hyundai is doing some very cool things with its new cars. Case in point, the new Hyundai Genesis. This is a vehicle that has been designed to compete with the world's best. This is the new 2015 Hyundai Genesis. It's been redesigned from the ground up. Created to compete with the world's best, including Mercedes E-Class and the BMW 5 Series. The car has been equipped with the world's first CO2 sensor. If the car senses that there's too much CO2 inside, it'll start pumping in fresh air for you. All-wheel drive comes standard on this car. It comes with a stiffer chassis and the V8 engine comes with 428 horsepower. A V6 version is also available and prices start at about $45,000. Don't change that channel. When we come back, we'll have our weekly conversation with the Canadian Automobile Association's Corey Kennedy. Don't go away. We've got more street sport television coming your way. Stark Auto Sales, the better way for car insurance companies to dispose of salvage. This huge 12-acre site is home to Stark Auto Sales, Canada's premier car insurance recovery center. Stark purchases salvaged cars from insurance companies and auctions them off. Insurers deal with Stark because the Stark system saves them money. A huge advantage is that you are dealing directly with the owner. We're a privately owned Canadian company. Uh, we purchase the cars from the insurance company. We give them the option of either us purchasing them or auctioning off on their behalf. Sold! Come. Stark Auto Sales was established back in the 1970s. Today the Stark system is automated and efficient. When an insurance company decides to total a vehicle, a report can be filed with Stark's secure online pickup system. Once vehicles are in the Stark database, tow trucks are dispatched immediately to pick up the salvage province-wide. The cars are assessed, photographed, inventoried, and all information is posted on the Stark website. The system is efficient and the purchase option reduces risk for insurance companies and allows them to make a proper decision whether to repair or total. There are no surprises this way. Uh, the purchase option enables the appraisers when they uh, go to the body shops to view the, the car to make an educated decision whether to write the car off or to have it repaired because there are no surprises when they get paid for their salvage. Our huge customer database includes auto recycling yards, body shops, retail customers and a large volume of exporters. Buyers can attend auctions in person or they can bid over the internet. The Stark online auction system is state-of-the-art. 
Complete information on every vehicle is posted, along with high-resolution pictures. Bids come in from around the world. The internet has grown tremendously. Um, we try to convenience our customers. Um, if they can't attend in person, we of course don't want them not to buy, so we try to make it convenient for them to be able to buy and still conduct their business or do whatever they have to do. So we instituted an online bidding system. It is state of the art. Um, we always have our IT guys monitoring it, looking for new ways to increase speed, quality, picture. We're, we're always tinkering with it to keep it up to date. The number of vehicles damaged in collisions in Canada now tops 300,000 a year. A good portion of them occur in Ontario, and with our network of partners strategically located throughout the province, Stark Auto Sales has no problem handling the volume. Starks is located in central Toronto, making accessibility for appraisers, SIU personnel, and insurers very convenient. Stark offers insurance companies economies of scale and efficiency. No one does exactly what we do. We can purchase them, we can auction them, uh, nobody else does that. They're, the other auction houses strictly auction, work on fees and uh, service fees and so forth and that's how they sell for the insurance companies. We do it differently. Stark Auto Sales. Money saving, efficient disposal of salvage. Reduced risk, a better bottom line. Thank you for taking your time to view our video. For any inquiries or questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, Stephen Stark, at 416-654-7222. With our many years of experience in the salvage business, I can assure you that with our salvage management team, we will increase your net percentage return on all your salvage. Find out more about the Stark Auto Sales difference by visiting our facilities at 119 Union Street, Toronto or visit our website at starkautosales.com. Steve Pluckett presents the Fleetwood Country Cruise in June 7th and 8th. See over 3,000 vintage vehicles with a special 50th anniversary salute to the Ford Mustang. Meet celebrities like Batmobile designer George Barris, Bo Hopkins, Candy Clark, Gene Winfield, Courtney Hansen, and Linda Vaughn. 110 acres of classics, customs, hot rods, and specialty vehicles. 9282 El Viage Drive, London. An automotive extravaganza like no other. Visit FleetwoodCountryCruising.com. Automotive artist Michael Irvin presents his latest high-powered paintings. Roadrunners, Birdseed, and the reflection of Wile E. Coyote all give a nod to the classic cartoon in Beep Beep. Signed limited edition prints, artist proofs, large canvases. View the online gallery and purchase at michaelirvin.com or call toll-free 1-800-361-5484. Free worldwide shipping. Own a piece of the powerful, surreal world of automotive artist Michael Irvin. Hey friends, welcome back to SST. And without further ado, here's Corey Kennedy from the Canadian Automobile Association. In our weekly conversation, he talks now about the CAA's history. Corey Kennedy is back with us. Corey is with the Canadian Automobile Association, and he's here to talk about an iconic Canadian insurance company in the CAA. It is an important piece of Canadian history, an important piece of Canadian automotive history, and it stretches all the way back to 1903 Correct. when, you know, advocacy on behalf of motorists really began. What? How did it all start? Well, you know what, as, as I've alluded to within most of the other segments, that we have a very rich as well as proud history, and that 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 is indeed accurate. Um, now again, we've been around for well over 100 plus years, and as you alluded to, back in 1903, um, CA's roots really wasn't so much uh, with regards to, to roadside assistance, but more so advocacy. Uh, now at the time, the, the vehicle was still relatively new, not, uh, not many people actually had and not many understood. Sorry, not many individuals actually understood what it was. It was still a threat to the horse and carriage. Um, 
and again, from from our perspective, uh, or our, our club's ancestors' perspective, uh, they came to together, and the the first lobbying initiative was to increase the the speed limit from a whopping eight miles per hour to that of ten, uh, which was a very contentious issue back in the day. And through through our initiatives, we were able to to ensure that the the governments were supportive of that. And uh, from there, we have taken on many an issue uh, with regards to road safety, um, with regards to the the environment, with regards to infrastructure, and the list goes on and on and on. Eight eight miles an hour to ten miles an hour, and it just shows you that speed and safety has always been um, a point of concern for everyone when it comes to automobiles, yep. and the CAA has always been there advocating on behalf of responsible motorists. Absolutely, and like I said, you know what, if you were to take the timeline from 1903 straight up into uh, today, well, we'll say 2013, uh, effective, you know, March 20, uh, March 24th, um, there has been a constant state of evolution where the issues of the day, we've done our utmost to, to either be avant-garde or at the forefront um, or to to work with uh, with key organizations and or even government to to address them. Um, so again, from our perspective too, we were one of the, the or, sorry, the uh, early organizations to take the lead with regards to reduce impaired driving everywhere. Um, and there's no secret that those particular programs have actually done a phenomenal job in removing uh, impaired motors from the roadways, thus in turn ensuring people's safety as, uh, as well as well-being on the roadways. But in addition to that, also helping educate people with regards to the inherent dangers associated with it. Um, so, and that's just one of the, the many examples. Um, so again, you, you, even up until, we'll say, uh, the, the early 2000s, um, where again, you know what, we lobbied for um, a handheld device ban uh, for novice drivers. Um, so again, you know what, we, we can look back, we have, we're have we very proud of our, our achievements, and um, and again, hopefully the trend will continue uh, on a go-forward basis. Right. And I guess it is important to have a strong voice there on behalf of motorists to provide balance on the legislative side, because you want responsible legislation, uh, legislation that... Uh, I guess, keeps cars on the roads in a responsible way, in an environmentally friendly way. All of these issues that come to the forefront, right? And that's the thing. We It's not just lip service. We actually go out. We survey our members uh, across the country uh, on a regular basis to find out what their concerns are, and we go about responding accordingly. Um, and that's why, with as an organization of 5.6 million members, uh, it holds a little bit more credibility when we go to, to the senior ranking um, members, whether we have provincial and or federal, sorry, of the, the federal government with our concerns to say, listen, this is from our members' perspective. We are concerned. They are concerned. What can we do in order to, to address these issues? And they usually do their utmost to, to respond in a very efficient, sorry, efficient as well as effective manner. So the, the work continues. The advocacy goes on. Um, and that, I guess, is really the message to your members is, is, is that that's what their membership fees are being used for. It isn't just for the roadside assistance Correct. insurance. You're using that money to fight on their behalf. Absolutely. So indirectly, you know, uh, our members can take solace in the fact that they have actually had a direct impact with regards to some of the key legislation over the past, uh, we'll say, even century. Um, so again, without them, we would not necessarily be able to, to to garner as much support. So again, hopefully that trend will continue where we'll be able to, to hear from our members and again, do our part to ensure that we convey their message to, um, to the key decision makers. So, you can find out more at caa.ca or at... At our local chapter, caaneo.ca. Well, we are out of time, so until next time, I'm Rick Walker reminding you, when you can't get to the car show, we'll bring the car show to you. Catch you next time, right here on the next edition of SST. Multimedia Production.